What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be doing an exclusive look at the Kobe 6 Grinches dropping December 24th. This is everything you guys need to know about this shoe. Yes sir, let's get right into it. All right, so here they are oh, in hand. God. I didn't think this would ever come true. Same. Remember we did the uh, hype talk about rumored sneaker releases? Yes, I remember. I remember. Kobe 6 Grinches. Oh. Bam. Here they are, man. We gotta drop more rumors on Hype Talk. And maybe Nike, we know, listen to us a little more. There you go. At one point, I thought this shoe was just gonna stay in the vault. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that like they would never retro a pair like this. Because, you know, there are Kobe collectors out there. I think they knew like, you know, this might hurt just the value exactly. of them, but they're like, let's I just give it to them. I think people generally are happy that these are retroing as a pro tro. I mean, we I'm shocked it's the first colorway. Oh, as a, a six? As the first six to come out. They came yeah. out with a banger. Aesthetically, what do you really like about these? Oh, man, the color. You know, mm, Nike could I have mean, just rolled that with the traditional purple and gold. Mm -hmm. You know, purple and yellow for the Lakers. But for Christmas time, this colorway shitted on all the other ones. Wow. The LeBron, the KDs. You know, that's crazy to think about that one of the most popular Kobe's is not even purple or yellow. It is oh. literally lime green. <sighs> Shout out to the Grinch green. It's the color pops. There's no mm -hmm. shoe out there that's like this. And I think that's why why resale prices are insane for these even prior to Kobe passing away RIP yeah. uh, these were fetching upwards to a thousand dollars thousand bucks he passed away and some of them were going up to two thousand dollars and Nike was like hey man we, we got a retro and for sure and going off of that I think that's why this mm -hmm. is the best Kobe shoe ever yes sir one thing I want to do right now is bring in a pair of original Grinches Ooh. These came out in 2010. Uh, <laughs> these are size 14, by the way. Oh, nice. So basically when a new retro comes out, I think a lot of people consider the original ones to maybe save some money because oh, no. everybody has that. their eyes on the new ones. But I would say in this instance, just go with the new ones if you guys can. I mean, right off the bat, just looking at them side by side, comparing the colors, mm -hmm. the OGs just don't age well. I'm so happy that they kind of lose that like that 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 pop. You know what yes. I mean? Like, look at right here. It is very yellow on the toe box compared to the new pair. Oh, it's not man. like a pair of like Jordan ones where you you might benefit from getting the older one. You for know sure. What I mean? Oh, for sure. For these these are performance basketball sneakers. You want your stuff to be a little bit fresher. Look, look, you could already tell a little soul separation. Just go ahead and just cop the new ones. Yeah. You're getting the perfect shoe right off the bat. Exactly. And as far as the fit of them, I would say they do run a tiny bit snug. Very true. I would have went half size up in them. And of course, if you like hooping in the fours and the fives, these are very, very similar. <sighs> you brought up hoop. It, is this even a sneaker? you want to actually hit the basketball court because a lot of people ah. like these for a lifestyle. Yes. I mean, I was telling Ralph in another video, you better be dropping some buckets. You better be dropping some buckets. <laughs> uh, and at the end of the day, you are hopefully you can get for retail, but mm -hmm. most likely you're going to pay anywhere near $500, $800. Knows, I just don't man? see myself hooping in a pair of shoes like that. That, that high price. If you are though, like we're saying, you definitely these look fire on the court. Oh my and you better be hooping, hooping. For sure. So we just went over the comparison of them, the fit of them. I gotta ask you, what do these actually mean to sneakerheads? Why are they so significant? I mean, a lot of sneakerheads are Kobe fans. Mm -hmm. And it's going right off the bat, his demeanor on the court. He's not really trying to be your friend. He's trying to steal, he's pretty much trying to steal Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Basically, you know, he has that Grinch just demeanor. Yeah. You see, here's my problem. Take uh, you know? Unfortunately, in the 2010 Christmas game, he uh, didn't steal that one. Defense by Wade. Containing the ball. They, yeah. they, they got blown out. They oh, got blown sure, out by LeBron. Sure. Very entertaining, though. Very, Very entertaining. entertaining. Definitely, you know, they saved the game. For <laughs> sure. But what were you, Rich? I'm not going to sit here and act like I was the biggest Kobe fan, but aesthetically, come on. <sighs> the snake skin to the different neons and greens. You even got, like, green lining on the entire, like, inside right here. It looks like a, you know, a custom gone right. Like a, a crazy yeah. custom gone right. And then also what you had mentioned, you know, what they symbolize. Kobe not, like, getting along with everybody doing his own thing, you gotta respect it. Wrapping up the video, is there anything that they should consider before copping the Grinches? <sighs> Absolutely no, nothing to consider. I mean, just get them. Just get them. That's all I can say, whatever, hey, whatever it costs, you know, sell a kidney. You know, we're big <laughs> on like, you know, finding deals here and there and what they'll eventually be at, and maybe, you know, resale prices set. Just forget Not all of that. This is history. You got to respect Kobe. Just try to get them. All right. Trade whatever Jordan you need to. <laughs> oh, I'm saying like if you're going to have a Kobe in your collection, 
This is the one. And we stand by this, man. And they we stand pop, by they this. They pop crazy in person. Uh, you know, I post it. And ahead. at the end of the day, you don't have to rock it on the court. Nah. You know, you can rock these off the court. They'll pop. They'll make, you know, bring your whole outfit together. Yeah. Basically, what I'm trying to say is like, you'll get so many, like, basically a lot of bang for your buck. You're yeah, getting you're a lot of history. You're getting a dope sneaker just aesthetically. You're getting a sneaker that represents greatness. You're just, you're just getting a lot with this sneaker right yes, here. Sir. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that Kobe 6 Pro Tro review. Like we said, if you are picking up a pair, they do run very small, so keep that in mind. Um, let us know down in the comments below if you have any other questions. And until next time, we out. Peace.